Moving right along, the Patriots 43-22 winners over the Indianapolis Colts. Andrew Luck, now seven interceptions in two postseason games. He had nine all year, but uh, the resurgence of the running game. Stephen Ridley, LeGarrette Blunt, having Shane Vereen, uh, a very solid core of running backs, but LeGarrette Blunt, it appears, is winning the job, at least right yeah, now. So he won't start next week. Right. I know. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So look for Brandon Bolden. Yeah. Right. yeah. Uh, Brandon Knowing, Bolden. Uh, Bill, Mike Shanahan, Belichick. <laughs> <laughs> and by the way, the, and based on that small wild card note here, next week, if you like prop bets, sight unseen, I haven't seen the number, okay, yet. It mm -hmm. hasn't come out yet. Sight unseen, bet on Shane Vereen. Okay, they're going to go to Shane Vereen. That's Whitman, that's, right? Yes, that's yeah. right. It's Uger Whitman. <laughs> uh, because uh, that's what Belichick does. He's going to mix it up, and he's going to go to Shane Vereen like crazy next week. In the passing game or the running game? Both. <laughs> just uh. bet it. But if you see Shane Vereen, it's over. So you're saying total he's... yards. Go yeah. be over. Sight unseen, bet over on Shane Vereen. <laughs> ben? <laughs> yeah, because I mean, the theory would be that it would be low and that there's every chance that he's the guy all of mm -hmm. a sudden next yeah. week. Who yeah. Now, to your, to your real point, uh, yes, they've got an unbelievable running game now, right? And they have Tom Brady. They don't have receivers. When Julian Edelman is your top receiver, boy, are you out of receivers. Yeah. Okay. Uh, not that he's not a bad player. He's a great third receiver, right? <laughs> Contract year, Julian Edelman. What's that? Contract year, Julian Edelman. Yeah, that, that, yeah, yeah. that team, whatever team that is, is it's going to make a big mistake. It's going to regret it. <laughs> right. yeah. Yeah. Okay. So anyway, uh, you know, so I, I they're going to control the ball. I love New England's running game, uh, and so and I, they just crushed the Colts with it. So yeah. the Colts felt so defeated by the second half. Loved what they did. No, no. Them. Talk about defeated. I think so we all defeated. They we quit all, with ten yes, and a half minutes thank to play. You. We all <laughs> tweeted. I believe Ben and I did at the exact same time. The fuck is Pagano doing? Yep. He's punting down two scores fourth in the fourth and, quarter. Fourth and less than a yard. At his was own, it less than a yard? Yeah, at his own twenty. How much time was left? Nine thirty-three. Ten. Ten. ten I think there was ten, ten plus over minutes. Ten. Was and he's tenth. punting. Down forty-three twenty-two. You down three touchdowns. Where was he so on his own twenty-nine? Like, on his own twenty-nine. Mm -hmm. Hang yeah. on, may I? Is that a pressman mentality, Ben? You're crazy. I'd fire you. Well, how would you punt? Well, down? You wouldn't have hired me in the first place. Why are you? Why would you punt <laughs> down point. twenty-one points in the fourth quarter of a game? Because where you need you're down the three yards. scores. They've been moving the ball unbelievably well. Try and get the ball back quickly. That's your best shot. You have no. the ball. No, but you have it under 29. <laughs> you they, you're, you're down four scores the second you turn the ball over. You can't, but you just said it. You can't stop them. You were down four scores when you punched. But, but right. I'd rather not stop. What I'm saying is take a shot at stopping them. In there, it's like talking to a guy who's never watched a football game. No, it's, you're it, giving them three points. You're making it a four score. Get the game. yard. No, but, get the yeah, yard. But, Keep but, the but ball. if you don't, but if you don't. You have you're down four scores, but Michael. And ten minutes, I would say. say Michael, either way, when you give up the ball, the game is over. They can not then, necessarily the game is over. The, the they run three straight to, plays. Best and, case and scenario, best they case punt. scenario, you get the ball punt. back with exactly. seven and a half minutes further back than where you were in the first place. Possibly, possibly not. You could, Likely I mean, further back. Yeah. Look, look, Considering no, what's, what's a no-win situation, I would have punted. Oh, my God. It's fucking okay. unbelievable how All ridiculous right. that is. Okay, okay, listen, listen. Uh, now. The old, like, I, I agree with Ben a hundred percent. The only way that I would have agreed with Michael, it may be two and a half percent. If the defense played it, better, that's right. If, right. They had yes. a better if the defense, defense was playing better, but you, I mean, right? But like, if you but punt, you're in a football you're never going to get the ball NFL back. Exactly. The, New England's going to run ten and a half minutes. I, I would argue. Is I would argue the opposite <laughs> at the other end too. That even if you had a better defense, your best case scenario in being down twenty-one nothing and it, getting the ball back is at being the thirty. It's twenty-one nothing. Like that's as well as your defense could play down three touchdowns, having only given up three touchdowns. Right. Right. They, so then your then your case is. And you can't. You guys can't score. You gotta have the ball. I mean, that's the thing about the NFL. You've gotta have the ball to score, and teams aren't recognizing it. Look, if it I would have gone for it on fourth and ten at the twenty-yard line, but I get that there could be some discussion about that. But punting it there was we quit, and the players. I agree. And the Colt players responded that way like well, they, they played they the same way playing. they played the whole game no they seemed no, even no, less no. They, they were they, they were excited they in the first half they weren't well, they yeah. were, yeah, I mean, they were the getting first beat quarter, but yeah. they were excited and you know with the Colts you never know look at how they came back against the but Chiefs I mean, right but when the coach quit they all quit the last 10 and a half minutes was useless yeah, yeah I agree with that they were fired up even at 38 at uh, at 36 22 when luck made the terrible interception that led to it being 43 22 but there's 10 and a half minutes you have one chance to win that game and that is to come back and score every time you have the ball. There's an excellent chance if the Patriots just run three plays every single time, 
pending your timeouts. I don't know what their timeout situation was. I believe they had two. That's six minutes off the clock right there. You can't. You, you can't. There's no time left. There's right. No time left. Right. It's, it's. It shows a lack of understanding of how the time and the clock works in the NFL. And it's, was that a Trustman like move, Benjamin? Was, no, that was the dumbest decision I've ever seen. I, I've, I've kick seen Trustman go for it in similar situations. Yeah. So he would have gone for it. Yeah, yeah. It's worse than Trustman. I actually yeah. thought he was going to fake the punt. Is what I thought he was going to do. Is they were going to set up for the punt and fake the punt. Mm-hmm. Well, the punter, by the, the way, McAfee. fake punt in history. Of course. But right. McAfee, by the way, I predicted. You know, I was watching because we. Because we had the Colts, we had a Colts over too. So it was in our interest in the second half that the Colts score. And as soon as they threw an incomplete pass there on third down, uh, the punter uh, charged out onto the field, like without any hesitation. Like, no, it's fourth and one at the twenty-nine. We punt, just like it's three nothing in the first quarter. It's a punting situation. <laughs>